I just like you to be a witness for something special, Miss Taylor. Smith. No, don't oh do it, God. dude. Uh, I'm gonna ask no, Miss Mabel Marcello do uh, to be my wife. Don't. <gasps> this is. I got this special token of my. Why love. would you do <laughs> this? Why are you no? Okay, good. Wow. Oh my God. This is. Did you know that was that? that? Did you, you know can't that do that, that to I didn't her. Know that was gonna happen at all. Yeah. That's so. I was so... like, you just like high five. <laughs> Thank you. You guys engaged now? This yes. is a, this is a th sufficient. Oh my god. I, okay. That's amazing. Whoa. I feel. Bye guys. I'm Congratulations. Like, she's you. meeting her hero here. Don't also. All right, whatever. <laughs> Now to sit down at my computer and read some comments here. It's going to be one of those types of days. I really think you should watch Taylor's documentary, Miss Americana. Oh. Miss Americana really goes deep and explores some of these issues. Hmm, okay. Taylor actually talked about that in her Miss Americana documentary. All right, um... Excited for Miss Americana. I really hope you can react to Miss Americana someday. I'm so happy you're watching Miss Americana. Hmm. Come in. Mail call. You're the mailman? I am your mailman, yes. That's, the, that's, your, that's your mailman outfit? Well, this is our uniform, this is how we dress. So it's There's nothing else to the outfit, just the... I have a letter here for you from your YouTube subscribers. You have a letter? From them? You can, they, they, cause they just comment Dear on Dear Mr. Friedberg, Mr. Andrew Friedberg, I assume. That's yep. It. You have repeatedly misunderstood the References and intentions of Miss Taylor Swift's songs. Okay, yeah, so I was just reading the comments. I know it's just, uh... Please cease and desist doing so and watch the documentary about her life called Miss Americana right now, Forever Hold Your Peace. Yeah, okay, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna get around to it. Oh, I'm sorry, they also have a question here. They can ask questions? Why have you not watched Miss Americana yet? Is it because you like being ignorant of things? So, well, should I write them a letter and give it to you? Or? No, you just say it to me and I'll get the message to them. So I'm just gonna answer to you and then you tell them or? That's how the mail works. I'll bring you the letter and you say your letter to me and I'll return. It doesn't matter, okay? Just, just answer the question. All right, well, here's the thing. It's I, when I like an artist, the more I like an artist, the less I kind of want to know about them. I, I really like their art to be kind of presented in its most pure form without me knowing all the kind of gossipy machinations of their life and everything that's going on. Oh, shoot, I have a, I have a follow-up question here. Too, I forgot. Follow-up option? Well, that's really pretentious. Stop it, is what they say. So How is... How are you are you gonna watch are you gonna watch this you want me to stop what I'm doing now and just start watching it yeah but well I mean you want me to turn around start watching Miss Americana I mean just watch it right now all right here I go love this mic by the way. well the time has come folks it is the day before Thanksgiving 2021 and I today am going to watch the shit out of Miss Americana, the Taylor Swift movie. I'm liking this cat's work here. Kitten, sorry. This is the first one that I started when I was 13. And it says, my life, my career, my, my dream, my reality. <laughs> For a while I wrote with quill and ink. That was a phase I went through. Like I had a glass quill with like an ink. Jet. Has she been crying? It's just a... You know, my entire moral code as a kid and now is a need to be thought of as good. That's dangerous, and that's not mm. that's dangerous for you. Very honest so far. Wanting to be thought of do as good, right do thing. the right thing, do I got gotcha. you. good thing. And obviously mm. I'm not a perfect person by any stretch, but overall the main thing that I always tried to be was, um, like, just, like a good girl. 
she wanted to be perfect. Yeah, she was trying to be perfect. From Reading, Pennsylvania. Oh, she's from Reading, Pennsylvania. I know where Reading is. Hey, everybody. Um, Hi, Taylor. <laughs> you know, one of my first memories of country music was when I was six years old. <laughs> one of my first memories. In concert. That's hard! I am happy. That's probably the main thing I think of, especially when I first started seeing Taylor Swift was that she, see, and I've never said this before on my channel. Um, here it is. Uh, she seems like a, a young woman who is, a chi she seems like a, a, a child who's very, very good at speaking to adults. And you can see that Taylor Swift was a, a, a very, you know, comfortable stage presence very professional very early very very kind of poised and adult very early when i see that i think of a child who has to manage their parents emotional states to a certain extent uh or their family's emotional states or their teacher's emotional states or something and she's talking about that already she wanted to be a good girl she wanted to be a good person and that meant this thing to her now i it's a totally i'm not criticizing that i'm saying it happens to people it's i don't want to call it a form of child abuse it's just like it's just a, the, a certain kind of expectation that's levied against some children and um it makes me uncomfortable whenever i see it and she's still very much that little girl i mean that's who i see that which is incredible like she just seems like a, a grown-up version of that child, you know, like a, literally just like a bigger version of that child, but I don't, I'm, and, and we'll see. I had that praise of, Taylor, you're doing a good job at your work. I was so fulfilled by approval that that was it. Yeah, she kind of came out like around that like Britney Spears like cheerleader vibe thing, right? And she's kind of anti that. Which is cool. I, 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 no hate towards Britney. She just got out of her conservative shirt. Mad love to Britney. Who everyone wanted me to be. She loves the onesie. In the middle of the night, in my dreams, I know I'm gonna be with you, so I take my time. Hey, struggling with those lower notes. Good to see. It was very intimate. We don't need to see her picking her ears, guys. Lord Vader. That drone is in everything now. I've listened to too many drones, guys. Sorry about that. It's good. So I guess she doesn't have like big after parties or anything. It's not rock star of her. It's very cool of her. She's a cat person, clearly. I've just been like running up and down stairs, like moving things around and packing boxes, like trying not to think about you calling me with Grammy nominations. I know, well, I'm trying to get oh. the full, full <laughs> list because right now um, in the main, the big categories of album. Yeah, and it sucks to not be nominated. Oh, okay, it's, it's um, this is good, this is fine. Yeah. Uh, and, and and it's very similar. Everything is like this crumb. You know, it's so weird. I said you know, this is. Uh, you know buddy. what? Like this is fine. This is. Yeah. I just need to make a better record. Oh, uh, buddy. Well, presentation is a great record. No, I'm making. I'm making a better record. Wow. Of course, I've never been a musician anywhere near the level close enough to get a Grammy or anything like that, but. And I think probably because it just was never, ever going to be an issue for me. That I, was, I knew I was never going to get a Grammy. I've just never... And I say this with respect because I know the Grammys have incredible musicians 
in in th- that perform there and that choose the music and that win the awards, I just have never cared at all about a Grammy. And and to see her, it, it, it drives her to do another album to make a better album. Um, it's fascinating, and it's it's this type of of reaction and constant drive that is required to be successful at this level, and to never have it be good enough and never have it be enough. And I'm just, I just feel so bad for her because it's like she's ensconced in the, the benefits of, of what she's done, of what she's built, and she can't be happy because the Grammys didn't select the album. Oh, she said Electric Lady. Cool. Great studio. Old studio in New York. A lot of great stuff was recorded there. So you say that, like... And then you say that you'll never find another like me. Maybe that's the fun of me. I don't know. I don't have no idea. It's really cool. You like it? Yeah. That's kind of nice. That's a good, good producer the there. Easily inspired, even by little fragments of things. First verse, and like maybe a lower volume so you can hear what the I'm trying to say. And just says it's some bullshit on the phone I never leave well enough for A little marching band beat I'm gonna follow where I go And there's a lot of cool chicks out there One of these things is not like the others Like a rainbow with all of the colors Baby doll, when it comes to a lover I tell you that you'll never find another <laughs> like me I don't know if I've ever heard that song. It sounds like a big hit, though. It sounds very catchy. There's so much pressure going into putting new music out. If I don't beat everything I've done prior... Uh, look at that team. Deemed as, like, a colossal <laughs> failure. Maybe first I could talk to you about um, kind of new album stuff. There's going to be from from 16 to 20 songs on it. So I think we've all discovered um, a variety of reasons why I would never be able to be this famous or this successful as a musician. Here's 13 reasons why. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine this type of managerial control you'd have to constantly have over people. And, like, she, she needs to be, like, a CEO, a singer. I mean, dear God. Everybody in music has their own sort of niche specialty thing that they do that, you know, sets them apart from everybody else. And my storytelling is what it is for me. I, I, I know that without me writing my own songs, I wouldn't be here. Oh yeah, I guess she's, she's probably pitched songs by others all the time. There is an element to my fan base where we feel like we grew up together. I'll, I'll be going through something, write the album about it, and then it'll come out, and sometimes it'll just coincide with what they're going through. Oh, it's hell's strange. single out now for about a month. Redden? I didn't know Redden had that kind of accent. Hold on, folks. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I'm tar- sorry about my accent. I remember that from the comments section that she got a 12 string. And that was a 12 string she was playing. And it sounded like it had 12 strings on it, but it might have only had six. It was kind of hard to see. It also seems like writing her own songs is very, very important to her. That people know that she writes her own songs. Said the way my blue eyes shine. Put those Georgia stars to shame that night. I said that's mine. I just, uh, she seems very, very young. I know she is very, very young. Girl released her debut country music album and dreamed of making it big. Well, today that girl is as big as it gets. In the past year, she has taken Nashville and country music on an unforgettable trip around the world. She went on to sell more copies than any other artist this year. That made her the youngest person in history to write and perform a number one country song. I give myself like five seconds a day to be like, yes, this is happening. (laughs) And then the rest of the day, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make it laugh. It's so crazy. If you think how young she is at this time, and how she was just, and like how poised she is and how ready she is for all that stuff. 
crazy. I mean, I mean, not crazy in a bad way. I mean, int- fa- you know, fascinating. Oh, Nashville is where she... And the fans, you have changed my life! Thank you so much. I was riding shotgun with my hair undone in the front seat of this car. He's got a one hand feel on the steering wheel, the other on my heart. I was in country music <laughs> doing like a very spectacle type live show and I remember thinking this feels like a dream this feels like a dream this feels like a dream but when you're living for the approval of strangers and that is where you derive all of your joy and fulfillment one bad thing can cause everything to Wow, she really is self-aware about that stuff too. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Taylor Swift. Cinderella. I always dreamed about what it would be like to maybe win one of these someday, but I never actually thought that would happen. Uh, I sing country music, so thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I... Hank. Yo, Taylor. I'm really happy for you. I'm let you oh, finish. Oh shit! That's when but this Beyonce happened. Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Oh my god! I forgot about one this. One of the best videos of all time. <laughs> god. All right, holy cow! I, so I was totally tuned out of MTV when this happened. I won't go into my whole history with MTV, but I kind of believe they destroyed uh, music. Not going to go into it. But I, I remember, I remember this happening. I didn't realize how young she was when it happened. I, forget, I don't know how old Kanye was. And so Kanye, good musician, huge asshole. I, I can't believe... He must not have known how old she was. I mean, this is her first big thing, too. I didn't realize that. I thought she had like, won stuff before. I, I like a little bit thought that she had like, gotten her start in the 90s. So we're, we're dealing with a... With a, with a, 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 <laughs> a don't, I don't know anything, apparently. Weird. Shitty. Shitty of him. I was standing on stage and I was really excited because ended up being huge for her career award, though. And I, think. I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage. Are there any hard feelings towards him? I, I don't know him and I've never met him. She's so. pissed. So fan She's such a good politician. Yeah. It's Kanye West. Are you still a fan? I take it now. You know, I just I don't know him and I don't want to start anything because I just you know I had a great night tonight. For someone who has built their whole belief system on getting people to oh, yeah. clap for you, the whole crowd booing is a pretty formative experience. It's crazy that she's being this, I mean, she's like, my whole life was based on getting people to clap for me. I really just went to this place where I was like, I'm gonna prove myself. I'm gonna make sure people know I deserve to be here. The New York Times said, by making pop with almost no contemporary references, Miss Swift is aiming somewhere even higher, a mode of timelessness few pop stars can even bother aspiring to. Taylor Swift has done something only the Beatles have done. An album at number one for six weeks for four consecutive albums. One magazine headline said it best, Taylor Swift is the music industry. Yeah, that's probably a fair rep. That's probably fair at that time. So I guess I like that term that she was the music industry because the music industry had stopped supporting in bands or like indie artists, the type of music that I was into and stuff. And she became associated with the music industry. So the fact that she was an interesting artist that people could listen to was just totally overshadowed uh, by the fact that she now represent all of the evils of the music industry to kind of young people and to people of her age. And I think I was definitely one of them. Just being real with you folks. Figuring stuff out because my life is planned like in like two years ahead of time. Mm. <laughs> like literally in two months, they'll come to me with the dates for the next tour. Right. I'm gonna be like, so you'll be at Foxborough Stadium this date 
2020 or Go whatever pets. year, you know, like. Yeah. She got cancer several years ago. That has been really hard for me because she's my favorite person. On the third song where I hadn't gotten it started again, she goes, come on, mom. Like, I'm just going to go out. She's like, that's It woke me up from this, this life where I used to sweat all these things. Hi there. How you doing, babe? But like, do you really care if the internet doesn't like you today? if your mom's sick from her chemo. <laughs> you gotta be able to really prioritize what matters to you. Very true. For me. If, um, yeah, if you've ever lost somebody that you can't lose, you know, somebody, or had somebody, uh, almost die that you can't lose and what i mean like by you can't lose is that they're they're so close to you that the idea of losing them is is like an impossible thing to even fathom um and then you have to contemplate it it will kind of put those things in perspective maybe one of the reasons i've never cared about um the grammys or anything like that um is because i had one of those tragedies in my life very early i don't know I'm gonna get some ice for my wine. You want okay. any? Well, I'm yeah. not a cat dad, so I'm not gonna com comment on that. Oh, that's fine. That's honestly just what I wanted. Yeah. A friend of mine yeah. puts <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> Diet yeah. Coke in his red wine. You know, Claire just had a baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And like, I went over to see her and... Oh, it's all stealthy. The guy in the sunglasses just makes it less stealthy. Oh, my God. oh no, they don't. So intense. Just to see her leave her building. She really is kind of like well, the Beatles. This is like what the Beatles went through. So this is my front yard. Yikes. And I'm highly aware of the fact that that is not normal. It's not good for me to see pictures of myself every day because I have a tendency and it's only happened a few times and I'm not in any way proud of it, but I get, I tend to get triggered by something, whether it's a picture of me where I feel like I looked like my tummy was too big or, mm. or like someone said that I looked pregnant or something and that'll just trigger me to just mm -hmm. starve yep. a little bit, just stop eating. I thought that I was just like supposed to feel like I was going to pass out at the end of a show or in the middle of it. I thought that was how it was. And now I realize, no, if you eat food, have energy, get stronger, you can do all these shows and not feel it, which is really good revelation because I'm a lot happier with who I am and I'm happier with like, I don't, I don't care as much if like somebody points out that I have gained weight. It's just, something that makes my life better. I'm a size six instead of a size double zero. I mean, that that wasn't how my body was supposed to be. I just didn't really understand that. At the time, I really don't think I knew it. Yikes. I would have defended Jesus. it to anyone who said, I'm concerned about you. I was like, what are you talking about? Of course I eat, it's perfectly normal. I just exercise a lot. Yeah. And I did exercise a lot, but I wasn't eating. I mean, the, 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 even now, like, the Jewish mother in me just wants to give her a sandwich and just be like, I mean, I was glad to see her eat a burrito. Um, yeah, I can't imagine, like, growing up being that age at that time, the early 2000s, when, I mean, the, the music media, entertainment media now is just about as evil as it gets. I can't imagine being a young woman who's just coming into her notion of beauty and her notion of herself and having this kind of criticism levied at you all the time i mean she just said the word tummy you know it just it, it i just it, she seems very much like somebody who's still living in that kind of that 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 desperate need to like please everybody yeah. many of us live in that just, world in different ways i don't think you know you're doing that when you're doing it gradually there's always some standard of beauty that you're not meeting 
because if you're thin enough, then you don't have that ass that everybody wants. But if you have enough weight on you to have an ass, then your stomach isn't flat enough. Wow. Yeah. It's all just fucking impossible. <laughs> can I say something else also? I can because this is my channel. It's so incredible to hear her talk about this because unwittingly she perpetuated those stereotypes. Unwittingly she perpetuated those un... Um, attainable beauty standards not because she's a bad person or evil is because she just happens to have the kind of bone structure and the look that this particular industry craved and she could handle all the pressure and she could handle all the stuff and she could write her own songs she could do everything correctly and um it's just fascinating to see, of course, you, like when you're, when I was a kid, I just assumed that she like ha was cognizant of it and that she was like one of those mean girls herself and that it was just easy for her. I mean, that's what you assume. I mean, I, I wasn't a, a, you know, I was a naive kid myself. This is really you don't ever say to yourself, like, I've got an eating disorder, but you know, you're like making a list of everything you put in your mouth that day. And you know, that's probably not right. But then again, there's so many diet blogs that tell you that 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 that's what you should I, do. Yo, and the diet thing, let me say this from the other this from the other end, okay? Uh, I've never, uh, uh, you know, I, I've, <laughs> I'll put up pictures. I've, I've weighed a lot of different weights in my life. I've had a lot of different um, pressures in that way. Definitely have eating issues. Like, trying to find just just good information of like what you should eat and when you should eat has really been difficult over the last years because of all the kind of diet scams and things yeah really hear her on that this and like i caught myself yesterday to start to do it and i was like nope we don't do that anymore we do not do that anymore because it's better to look to think you look fat than to look sick and we don't do that anymore and you just we're just we're changing the channel in our brain wow. and we're not not doing that anymore that didn't end us up in a good place. But it's not about whether you look sick or look fat, it's about whether or not you're healthy. As your career goes like this, the magnifying glass goes like that. Taylor Swift did not take herself more seriously. I think that there's plenty Thank you. of annoying women. I, I think that Taylor Swift, she is annoying. She's too good. She's too skinny. It bothers skinny. me. All of her model friends. And it's just like, come on. Lock and load, boys. Taylor, We've got a roundup of all the guys that Miss Swifty has at one point been romantic with, and there are a lot of hotties on this list. Oh. Only date life. Oh, Can meet the parents? parents. She's going through guys like a train. Oh, Can we just <laughs> get it panned down? It's beautiful. I just wanted to show the legs, because as I was telling you ahead of time, you're going to walk home with more than maybe just a trophy tonight. I think lots of men. I'm not going to walk home with any men tonight. the latest can't look away twist in This is America. such a generational thing too. It's cuz she's just like a young woman like I, all these people are from a generation where like it was embarrassing for women to have boyfriends. Like all of like women I'm not even going to go into it. Song contains a lyric calling Taylor Swift the B word. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. Kanye had said all along that he got permission. Taylor denied it. Kim Kardashian released video of Kanye West secretly recording his conversation. I mean, thanks for being like so cool about it. Oh, she posted on Instagram, where in the video is Kanye telling me he was going to call me that Biatch yeah. in his song. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, little ditto heads. Vice used to be a good. Daily Beast used to be good. When people Guardian decided I was wicked and evil and conniving. I don't remember this. And not a good person. That was the one that I couldn't really bounce back from because my whole life was centered around it. Why? What did Hashtag Taylor Swift is over party was the number one trend on Twitter worldwide. Do you know how many people have to be tweeting that they hate you for that to happen? got into this line of work because we wanted people to like us because we were intrinsically insecure because we liked the sound of people clapping because it made us forget about how much we feel like we're not good enough 
And I've been doing this for 15 years and I'm tired of it. Mm. I'm just tired of the... Just... It just feels like it's more than music now at this point. And just most days I'm like, okay. But then sometimes I'm just like... It just gets loud sometimes. When people fall out of love with you, there's nothing you can do to make them change their mind. They just don't love you anymore. I just wanted to disappear. Nobody physically saw me for a year. And that was what I thought they wanted. Yeah, I mean, if you're famous and you're successful and you stick around long enough, they're going to tear you down. I, I can't think of a celebrity they haven't done it to. I was never a Taylor Swift is over party person um, because, again, I, I just didn't listen to Taylor Swift. She represented the music industry to me, and I hated the music industry. But you can see how she can just be manipulated into kind of representing all these things and benefiting from them without necessarily meaning to. In terms of whether or not Kanye, why would you videotape, I mean, you're going to videotape this conversation with Taylor Swift, why? Because you know you're about to bullshit her, and so, you know, who videotapes conversations, phone conversations with people, unless you're about to, you know, screw them over. The idea that she's fake and that she's has a bad personality... That's to me what I think she was always taught to, she's presenting all the time. The idea that she has a fake personality is because she's essentially a host. She has to present herself to you. Like when you just see her and hang out with her, I'm sure she's different, you know, and we're seeing little bits of that here. The reason why that backlash hurt so much was because that used to be all I had. I'm never just a narcissist, but they love me. <laughs> Good line. So I play it like a violin and I make it look oh so easy. I've been my case for a long time. You work a long time if you can get narcissists to like alone. you, especially in Hollywood. I felt really bitter. I also was falling in love with someone who had hey, a really hey. wonderfully normal, Are we in England? balanced, grounded life. And we decided together that her guy's we English, wanted our right? relationship to be private. And he owns deer? <laughs> Oh, come on, let's see the guy. I know it's, it's what's his name, right? Is that the dude? That's her guy. Isn't he like an actor? He doesn't want to be in the thing. Yes. 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 Oh, so nice this is so you. intense. Uh, don't believe, yeah. You're the cutest. <laughs> Guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. She's really good at this. Oh, my. oh and I love these. It's fun to make the heart like this. <laughs> She's very used to it. Big reputation. Big reputation. Yes. You and me, we got this. Yes. You look like a Barbie. Thanks. Oh. I just like you to be a witness for something special, Miss Taylor Swift. No, don't oh do it, dude. Uh, I'm gonna ask no, Miss Mabel Marciano do. uh, to be my wife. Don't. <gasps> this is. I got this special token of my. Why love would you do situation. this? Why are you no? Love you. Okay, good. Wow. Oh my God. This is. Did you know that was that? Gonna, did you you know can't that do was, that to I didn't her. Know that was gonna happen at all. Yes. That's I was so. Like, you just like <laughs> high five. Thank you. You guys engaged now? This yes. is a, this is a thing. Oh my god. I, okay. That's amazing. Whoa. I feel. Bye guys. I'm like. She's you. meeting her hero here. Don't also. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Love is good. <laughs> Glad for them. Do you think that you want to stay in LA for? Oh no, actually. Yeah. My wife is from Detroit. So we I ask myself that a lot. To test it out. You've been very secretive about how you vote, what you're voting for. Well, I mean, I just figure I'm a 22-year-old singer, and, you know, I don't know if people really want to hear my political views. Uh, I think they just kind of want to hear songs about breakups and feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Part of the fabric of being a country <laughs> artist is don't force your politics on people. Interesting. Let people live their lives. That is 
grilled into Very it. Very different than rock and roll. These three women have been the reigning queens of pop and country music. The Dixie They're Chicks. The biggest selling female artists of all time. Nearly 30 million records sold. Yep. And even more fans who always used to love their high-spirited style, their music, and their moxie. <laughs> They're great. Well, well, I remember back in the day, people not talking. I mean, I was vo I marched against uh, the war in Iraq. Um, there's a bunch of... <laughs> my, the college I went to... Uh, Fox News came to the college I went to and like protested us because we protested the wars. And it would have been great if she would have been able to speak out against it if that's how she felt at the time. Um, you know, but it was a really different time then. It, you know, believe it or not, it was actually more conservative then than it is now. It's just because conservatives, conservatives are, are feeling so threatened that they're being so threatening. But um, anyway. Here's hoping we get through it. Throughout my whole career, label executives and publishers would just say, don't be like the Dixie Chicks. Yeah. And I loved the Dixie Chicks. A nice girl smiles and waves and says thank you. A nice girl doesn't make people feel uncomfortable with her views. It's my right to vote, but it's not my right to tell other people what to do. Right and there, right there, sister. Nice Come on. I'm just not gonna you can tell her people what you think without telling them what to do. I know what she's saying. She's being she's being good. David Letterman is a funny getting, guy. Is a funny guy. I'm can also be a putz. The point where I can't listen to people telling me no, stay out of it. I'm trying to figure out this. I really like what I was doing, but I can't figure out what key it was in. It's like four at four a.m. in the middle of the night. I like the complex. I like the cool. Oh, dead to leave the field of nor I found someone to commit to. That would be okay. A. A minor? They would have nothing me but on my back. Maybe F or A minor. I'm so sick of running as fast as I can, wondering if I'd get much further. Oh, this is the man. Down. I've heard this song. I actually really love that. Yeah. I <laughs> really yeah. like that a lot. Do you want to start, maybe if you start a vibe. Yeah. Oh no, it's in C. You are kind of doing a constant strategy in your head as to how not to be shamed for something on yeah. any given day. But then you get accused of being calculated for having strategy. Mm. So. It's just it's like a it's, it's a lose lose situation. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm good, but. Yeah, it is interesting. Before and they're like, she's calculating. Well, like, yeah, she has to be. She's not calculating. How would she succeed? Taylor Swift, the singer, she goes to court today against a former radio DJ she says once groped her. Swift says this picture Whoa. shows the moment Mueller inappropriately grabbed her, putting Dude. his hand up her skirt. What the this fuck? This had happened to me. He put the first thing they say crazy. to you in court is, why didn't you scream? Why didn't you react quicker? Why didn't you stand further away from him? Then he has a lawyer get up and just lie. Yeah, we're, we have a lot. We're learning a lot about our there judicial system people. recently, too. So, um, I just wanted to, just kind of looking back, um, this exact day a year ago, um, I was, uh, I was, not playing a sold out stadium in Tampa. I was I was in a courtroom in Denver, Colorado. Um, honestly, I, I was there for a sexual assault case and this day a year ago was the day that um, uh, the day that the jury sided in my favor and said that they believed me. I guess I just think about all the people that weren't believed and the people who haven't been believed or the people who are afraid to speak up because they think they won't be believed. And and I just I just wanted to say that um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry to anyone who ever wasn't believed because I don't know how, what turn my life would have taken if somebody if people didn't believe me when I said that something had happened to me. So. You don't have to keep playing. You can take a moment. Yeah. The 
drought was the very worst. So tough to sing when you when you're also emotional and, and maybe wanted to cry a little bit. You know? Flowers that we grown together died of thirst. Right. It was months and months and back and forth. feeling she had to do a lot of mothering just, when I she was younger really not that her mo I'm not criticizing her mom my team's really not happy with me right now all I've talked about for the last couple of months is the election in Tennessee it's not that I want to step into this <laughs> I can't not. that's amazing like, that her team can like be mad at her <laughs> in my life completely and unchangeably different since back in the presidential election I was in such a horrendous place that I wasn't going to pop my head out of the sand for why anything. Why would you? I mean, does Bob Hope do well, it? Why, Crosby well, do it? Does, does Mitch I mean, Jackson do it? These on. ancient <laughs> guys. Bob Hope and First Bing of all, Crosby. these aren't your dad's celebrities and these aren't your dad's Bing Republicans. Crosby. Imagine if we came to you and said, Hey, does Groucho Marx do it? That we could halve the number of people that come to you next to it. And the other thing, just from a security so you standpoint, think people... Taylor Swift comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. Good. Yeah, let them write it. Fuck Trump. I'm sad that I didn't two years ago, but Good. I can't change that. So here's, the, here's the problem. I just want to read you what I wrote, and I'm going to try to start. I just really Amazing. want you to know that this is important to me. I this totally is something agree that, have you, with have the you just, issue. Have you heard you. Have let, you just heard Yes, it? I've read the entire thing. And the bottom line right now, I'm terrified. I'm the guy that went out and bought armored cars. I worry for her safety as much as anybody does, maybe more. It really is wow. a big deal. She votes against against fair pay for women. She votes against the reauthorization of the of the Violence Against Women Act, which is just basically protecting us from domestic abuse and stalking. They don't stalking. care. That's not their. She votes. She thinks that that if you're a gay couple, or even if you look like a gay couple, yeah. you should be allowed to be kicked out of a restaurant. It's really basic human rights and it's right and wrong at this point and i can't see another commercial and see her disguising these policies behind the words tennessee christian values those aren't tennessee christian values i live in tennessee i am christian that's not what we stand for all these guys care about is money political morality to them is kind of a a, a a vacillating thing that can go one way or another and they can't understand that she has principles. It's cool to see that she has principles. I need to do this. I need you to just... Oh, buddy. I just need you to forgive me for doing it, because I'm doing it. Okay. Your daughter's going to make you less money longer. this year. You Sorry, Dad. But glad she is standing up. I like that she's not... Uh, I didn't realize how much control her team has over her. Isn't it her team? Oh, it's Republicans for years have thought that Taylor Swift was a crypto conservative and she just... It's a risky move for an entertainer to step into politics at her age, at her stage. It's a risky Vote move. Org reporting more registrations in the last day since Taylor's post than in okay, all... Okay, this, this ancient boomer shit. That, the boomers era of, of musicians were the most poli political. The most political. Music has only become apolitical in the new cable media era. Oh my God, you look amazing. I am oh my God. 
gorgeous. Pop tart rapper. She's very, very good at like <clears throat> diminishing the kind of I, you know, adoration of her. Ridiculous, but I can't move Ooh, past her. Everyone's a shiny new toy for like two years. the presenting of the body. The female artists that I know of have reinvented themselves 20 times more than the male artists. They have to, or else you're out of a job. It is crazy. The, Constantly having yeah. to reinvent. But she also seems to Constantly like it. Constantly finding new facets of yourself that people find to be shiny. Be new to us be young to us, but only in a new way and only the way we want, and reinvent yourself, but only in a way that we find to be equally comforting, but also a challenge for you. Hmm. This is probably one of my last opportunities as an artist to grasp onto that kind of success. So, I don't know, like as I'm reaching 30, I'm like, I wanna work really hard. Um, while society is still tolerating me being successful. Wow, that's interesting. That even though she knows all the BS about it, from the Senate, Marsha Blackburn, we were just talking about and she still Marsha longs Blackburn. for it. Will win. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. She gets to be Protective the first measures with female senator in Tennessee, and she's a, she's Trump in a wig. She represents no female interests. She party. won by being a female applying to the kind of female males want us to be in a horrendous 1950s world. Yeah. You know, if you were like a kid who like loved Beto and thought that was the future of Texas, mm. or you really thought Stacey Abrams was going to win and you went door to door and mm. you were trying to make it happen and then she still gets beat. I phone canvas for Stacey happen, Abrams. It's like, statistically, you know, we have what, three to four million people turning 18 in the next two years before the next one? So yeah. it's like, it's basically saying like, don't lose hope, don't mm -hmm. get. Yeah, Politics is a long game. Hang in there. Yeah. Ain't, no, ain't no time to lose hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I want to love glitter and also stand up for the double standards that exist in our society. I want to wear pink and tell you how I feel about politics. Yeah, that's great. And I don't great. think that those things have to cancel each other I out. I love the color pink, by the way. Yeah, all about pink, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to be as educated as possible on how to respect people, on how to deprogram the misogyny in my own brain, toss it out, reject it, and resist it. Like, there mm. is no such thing as a slut. There is no such thing as a bitch. There is mm. no such thing as someone who's bossy. There's just a boss. We don't want to be condemned for being multifaceted. Sorry, that was a real soapbox. No, oh Why did God, I say sorry? <laughs> You're just... It's, no, it's because we're trained to say sorry. Yeah, we <laughs> legitimately we're are. We're like, sorry, was I loud? There is something about that, too. I mean, for, for everybody, for men and women, and if, you just, if, you, if you're trying to <clears throat> better yourself and better the world and live in a more tolerant world, you have to get to a place where you start questioning, well, am I, am I being misogynist? Am I being sexist? Am I being racist here? And being honest with yourself and then confronting those things in yourself without destroy, you know, hating yourself, condemning yourself. You have to learn some forgiveness. Okay, well, I was raised in this world. I was raised to think such a way. How can, what do I think? What are my morals? And how can I behave in a way that enacts those? Oh my God. Yeah, it's interesting. She's like a fan of herself in a way. She's like her own biggest fan, kind of. After 13 years of constantly feeling like I was misunderstood, knowing that everything that happened was all going to turn into this moment. 
is fucking awesome. <laughs> You know, there's this thing people say about celebrities that they're frozen at the age they got famous. They say the same thing about addicts. I had oh, she's a lot very honest of about that. Up to do, just trying to catch up to 29. Just gonna go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Not get dead face. Have fun the whole time. Yeah. I want it so bad, but I get so scared of what might happen. Relax, I can handle it. I'm young, I'm talented, they'll see it in me. I've got to hang on. All the king's horses, all the king's men Couldn't put me together again Cause all of my enemies started out friends Let me hold on to you I've been the archer I want to still have a sharp pen and a thin skin and an open heart. So, um, I'm glad I watched this. This is gonna sound wrong. I hope that she continues to kind of, not fall out of the spotlight, but I, I hope that she, it, she decides at a certain point that she doesn't need to do, she doesn't need to please her 13 member team and she doesn't need to tour. I'm sure she loves to tour. She should do what she wants, but that she can, like Grammys and fame and all these things. And to me, I see those, those same kind of um, childish, not childish, but like youthful aspects in her decisions to kind of continually be at the center of attention and always want to be kind of the ingenue of the modern American music scene. And that's good. It means that people have her music and they have her to be a, a fan of. I also think it'd be probably interesting to see her, you know, go low-key. I, I like the whole low-key Long Pond studio sessions. Though some of the ones I've heard, her in here, I, I, I've heard in here, I heard also acoustic versions and things. So I guess from my perspective, from the curmudgeonly old uh, music fan here, I kind of hope that she continues to find her own way and her own opinions and says things and 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 is independent of the kind of necessary machine that has to be built around her if she wants to do what she wants to do. So I really enjoyed this. Thank you guys for recommending it. Uh, there were some technical difficulties. Hopefully I'll edit around them. <laughs> and until next time, keep playing. I got too many wires Too many wires. It's not gonna be comfortable watching this movie because of all the wires.